I am very happy with that. That is amazing. I mean, it's not. All right, here's my prop. It's a piece of pallet wood. I profiled it so it's the right shape, right size. Um, kind of broke off here, so that might. I think it's still smaller than what I intend to cut, so it should be fine. But rough cut to save uh, everything be a good idea. So hopefully uh, this works. Let's install it and see what happens. All right, measuring the first distance, it should come to right about here. Make sure nothing hits. This one looks like it's a little far forward that way. So I just want to make sure nothing's going to chop the saw up. Once it's happy, I will uh, basically go from there and we'll run it. I hope. What? You nervous? <laughs> it's probably pretty loud, so it's going to have to talk up to hear over that thing running, but you're nervous. Yes. And what do you say about my mess? I feel like there's going to be more of a mess than you think. You think it's going to be all dusty? I do. I think though the inside of this will be dusty, but the outside will not. What you looking for? Holes? Yeah, I, I did my due diligence. I looked for a lot of holes. I gotta slow this down because when it gets close when it gets close to home it smashes all the stuff. Back there. Look how tight it is, smashes all that. So there's our starting point. We're ready to run. I don't know what speed to run at. I did some non-calculations. I didn't get time to calculate the distance speed yet, so I'll do that real quick and then I'll run it. Okay. Here we go. You can come over here once I feel like it's running well. Lily, what do you think about that? It's cool. It's cool? Yeah. So I'm running at 23 steps per second, which is pretty slow. I forgot to set my spring tension before I started, so the first part um, didn't quite go down far enough. But I'll just cut that again now that I know what speed to run at. I'm accumulating dust in the back corner, which was to be expected. Lots of dust in there. So now I'm going to go grill some food. I'm going to go grill some food while this works for me. It's looking good though. It smells nice too. Ooh, what was that noise? Did you hear a noise or just me? Uh, you heard a noise? I don't know what it was. That's okay. Should be fine. Lily, it's working. Look how good that was. I'm so happy. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm happy. It took me a long time and a lot of mental stress, but uh, I'm happy that I did the job and I finished it. So now, as long as none of these teeth skip, we should have a halfway good looking blade when we're done. And this is what I learned. I learned that the saw is still trying to burn if I move too fast, which smokes up the shop. It smells really bad. I also learned that that little thing that's holding my blade tip is no bueno. I tried to even super glue it with that like quick set. It just, it still doesn't work. So my blade's like literally tiny on the end because of that reason and I just fix, fixed it right there on that spot. But anyway, most of it actually worked really well, but I did have those few things that I basically got to figure out because this is turning that. I once thought about cutting it this way, which still make, uh, may make a lot more sense, but then the entire time it's cutting this, it's hanging on by a thread. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Most of the dust stayed in. There's like a little bit of dust here, a little bit of dust on a few of the edges. 
um, and there's a lot of dust that didn't get vacuumed up into here, although quite a bit, quite a bit really did. There's actually quite a bit in there. But I wiped off things like this, and there's like really no dust. I wiped off this back corner, no real dust. So most of it did, did uh, stay contained within the machine, even though it's messy in the machine. Okay, I'm gonna try some things. I'm gonna cut that first part again real quick, and then I'll flip it, try a rough cut fast, and then work my way down to the blade and do a slow cut, because when I rough cut it, it won't hopefully burn it like that when I go high and do a rough cut. I'm gonna try some things. Taking a much bigger cut, <clears throat> and I've also slightly angled angled the saw so it doesn't burn. Um, I need to go a little bit more, I think. So we're running like uh, 89, which is almost exactly the width of the blade, as you can see by those cuts. It's pretty thick. I think I need just a little bit more angle on the blade. It probably won't uh, burn. And the verdict is in. Running fast is nice. There's nothing really wrong with this. This is pretty well just as rough. And this cut in like four times faster or something. This is still not right. This piece of wood is MDF and I'm gluing the MDF and for some reason the MDF keeps breaking off because this thing is like not perfect. Anyway, uh, we'll figure that out later. For now, let's get this out of here and take a look at it. All right, boys and girls, there we are. My very first full prop. Uh, to be completely honest, this is gonna be just fine. A um, few tweaks, I have to get the height set right to make sure the thicknesses are all the same. Uh, all those small details, but, you know, here's my first version. So, uh, I'd say we did a lot better than our first version, although I really like the way this looks. Look at that nice wood grain, though. Okay, well, that's it. That is the prop maker. I'm going to fine-tune everything, and I'll probably make a last snippet of video footage, but at the end of the day, the machine works. So what I ended up doing, and I need to go more, is angling this. So when it's cutting, it cuts the thick stuff off and then finishes it and doesn't have time to burn. Because if you look, it's actually burnt, which stinks up the garage. It smells terrible. This side, you can see it's less burnt, but still burnt. But, that's because I had an angle, but I was running a lot faster on this. You can see the, maybe, you can see the cut, cut uh, lines here is not nearly as bad. But, uh, I am happy with that. Let's cut the ends off and see what kind of extra work we need to do to get it finalized. I'm going to take some measurements and stuff too and see where we're at. Sweet. Cool. Guys, I'm cutting a prop. I just emptied this out. I've never seen sawdust act like this. Look at this static charge on this stuff. Watch, it'll fly out of there because it's trying to get out. Look at it. Anyway, crazy. Alright guys, this might be your final update before, actually probably not, but I wanted to show you something. So I angled the saw blade at quite a bit of an angle, uh, like this, and what it does is it cuts the high spot before it has time to burn on the edge of the saw, and that seems to be cutting really well. In fact, there's almost no sawdust, cannot aim this camera, sorry, there's like no sawdust hardly on the bottom, where before there was like all of it was down there. And that's because it's actually cutting and throwing the sawdust into the vacuum instead of just flying everywhere and burning off the edge. So I got this half cut. Unfortunately, I cut my profile too small. Silly me. So we're going to do the other half anyway. And we'll have a second version. Hey, are you ready to start this machine? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Who are you talking to? Oh hey, it's my house. I can be naked. <laughs> Poppy and Grandma. Hi, Poppy and Grandma. You're in a video. Say hi. 
Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're so proud of you, ma'am. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thing figured out. I did a lot of fine tuning and setup. We actually have a good looking proper sensor, proper drop, proper dimensions. I gotta confirm that, but it looks so much better. Just a lot of tweaking, adjusting, wheels, offsets, just all kinds of stuff. I also put those bearings on that arm. Like I said, I probably need to. Make sure this is locked into the space really well. I adjusted these arms, I adjusted this. Basically did a whole bunch of stuff. Here we are. Seems like it's working. And I love this vacuum. vacuum. I've had it for like 10 years and it still works. Amazing. All right, after about an hour of cutting, I finished the very last cut at about 20 steps per second and only doing this part like that on both sides. The rest of it I cut at basically as much as I could, which was 70 steps per, per second. Kind of see how it spiraled on there. So this prop looks good. This is still a test prop out of some test wood, but uh, I'm going to take this out of here and look at it. Um, yeah, fill up the vacuum every single time I make one. I'm afraid to take this off. Last time the static electricity went poof. It was actually crazy. So. Yeah, not much mess outside the machine. The couple, the couple of the first times I did it, I had a lot of a mess here, but really it's not that not that bad. And uh, I've been in the shop the whole time with some earplugs and uh, headphones on and no big deal. So anyway, we have succeeded in our mission of making a prop. The last step in this whole procedure is taking my hardwood and making a real one. So this is maple, 3 quarter by 2.5. And uh, I did learn that I should really make this out of something thicker, like a one inch thick. That way I don't have to worry so much about getting this set perfectly. I can just sand that smooth, but live and learn. So anyway, there we are. That's what we've done. Um, last time from burning the wood, you can see like the stuff is everywhere. It's terrible. So yes, success. Now it's time to cut a real one. I'm doing it. I'm making a real one with real wood. It's, it's, I stuck the whole piece in there and it's kind of burning the edge a little bit, but that's to be expected, I guess. Real wood, baby, real wood. I'm running at 50 steps per second, so a little slower than normal. But man, that thing's looking good. Very exciting, I'm going to actually use this one on the actual plane. Alright, it just shut off. This is our first glimpse at our first real prop. Let's get her flipped around and uh, to the other side. I am very happy with that. That is amazing. I mean, it's not amazing. It's super cool, but very happy with it. Got this height set almost perfect. All right, let's do the other side. Okay. Uh, it finished, but about here, the vacuum quit, quit, 
and then the hose fell out and then I tried to grab another vacuum and that vacuum didn't work so I made one heck of a mess I already cleaned it up but then I eventually grabbed my wife's vacuum yeah we all know how that's gonna go I'm gonna be in trouble for that I'll clean it out uh, anyway it finished but I was a little freaking out because I'm trying to keep dust out of this garage it's like my number one rule is never cut wood in here and this is what I do in my garage so um, you know it sucks I really despise dust in my shop. So anyway, I freaked out, but I did get it sucked up. So now I'm going to go clean this out before my wife figures it out. But as a quick glance, seems to look pretty nice. Oh my. What are you doing expecting? Does it pass quality control? No. Huh? No. No? I don't know what you're talking about. You look like you're inspecting it. Are you inspecting it? Yeah. Well, does it pass? Why? What's wrong with it? I don't even know what to call Really? Yeah. Does it pass? What passes? My prop. Like, like, like you're imaging it? No, like, is it gonna work? I think. Me too. I definitely think it's gonna work. Me I, too. I don't know, but I'm still saying. Awesome. I'm still saying. What are you playing with? A fidget toy. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm looking at your amazing work. Are you? Yes. Are you amazed? I am, very impressed. Are you? Mm -hmm. Is that a fake one? Show me your facial expressions. Uh, what? I was wondering if you were just telling me that because you wanted me to feel nice inside. No, you did a really good job. It looks like you would have bought it at a store. I'm balancing it. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. I just told you how to balance this, so... Now you can do it for me? Yep. Really? Riley can do it. Dexter can do it. Can mommy do it? What do you want me to do? Balance it. Look, it looks a little heavy right in the center because it's, it's going. It's going off the cast. In case everyone has no idea what this is. This is a standard balancer, but I got it upside down. Usually you can just rest it on this side, but it's a little big. Uh, it's just two little magnets, a piece of bar, a piece of rod, steel rod, with a cone-shaped little rubbers. Just stick them on there. And uh, as you can see, looks pretty balanced, but it's a little heavy right in the right in the center. The actual uh, tips of the wing are pretty good. See, it's not moving. But if I set it like this, and I let it go, it wants to go to the middle, which tells me the hub right here is a little heavy. So we get her balanced out, and then I'm gonna clear coat it. What? I was gonna paint it, but I just like the raw wood. I do like raw wood. Yeah, I really want to just keep this one as like a prized possession, but that would be stupid. So I'm gonna fly it. Because <laughs> you only have three more days. Exactly. I, I was on a mission to get this done Actually, before my dad got here. I do have to glue some parts back on, but otherwise that plane should fly. I'm not gonna so do you're that right. Expecting me to pack everything for you? No, I'm gonna pack my stuff because you got my clothes, but I'm sure I'll be missing something. So I'm gonna go through no it. No laptop. No laptop. I can't do any video editing. It's the only thing that's relaxing for me. You're going to sit on the beach and stare at the ocean. You're going to bring your laptop to the beach? Uh, man, I'll bring yours. No. <laughs> that's all I got. Oh. Okay. I was going to turn the internet off because I want no internet. Correct. Yeah. Bye-bye. Hey, who let you in here? I did the same thing in the middle. I know. There's a bad spot. No. no. Like a real rough spot. See it? It's like on the grain. What do you think about my apparatus? Awesome. Did you see the airplane above your head? Yes. <clears throat> Did you see the other one above your head? I saw them earlier. Did you see that one over there, the wing for it? No. <laughs> Who's gonna ride that? You are. Oh. Mama won't let me put bunnies in it, so I guess we have to put you in it. Okay. So what do you think about my apparatus? I think 
it looks good. Is it working? Not right now. We got one more. We're gonna cut a three blade. So I cut individual pieces. I got one more. We're gonna clean out the vacuum so it doesn't overheat again. Right. And then we'll cut one more and see how she goes. Sounds good. We're live. Well, not really. <clears throat> what's up, everybody? This video didn't get an intro, so there's your what's up, everybody. My name's Russ at rdbgresearch.com. Something in my mouth. It's been a while. It was a long day the other day. Yesterday? Um, last week. It was a long week last week. I didn't get anything done, so I didn't publish a video. So here it is. I got one more after this one with the prop maker, which is my three blade. That's kind of where we ended it. So, um, this realistically is the end of the prop maker currently. All right, let's do this. Live comments. Don't forget, I'll answer comments in this video from the next video or the last video or the video. I got burps and I hate that. What did I just eat? I ate a pear and it's giving me burps. Anyway. Okay. Hello. How are you? Have you heard from John Hutchinson? I was communicating with him a few years ago, but he disappeared. Do you know if he's okay? Actually, I haven't talked to him. I don't know. I could probably reach out to the right people and get an answer, but he kind of comes and goes and hides and this and that. Um, he's probably all right, but I honestly, I don't have an answer for you. Um, I'm not sure. What are you doing over there? Oh. What'd you say? This is herd cattle, not. Well, maybe I was trying to herd him. Like ca like cats. Cattle? <laughs> no, like cats. Like that? No, H E A. Like that? H E A. R R like, like that? R D. H E A R D. No, like that. no I. Oh, it's a, it's a replace an I with an E and add an R D. No. Oh. <laughs> well, who taught me that? Uh, just type it so I can see if it looks right. Herd. Yes. That's what I just had. No, you had H E R D. That's herd of cattle. Oh, I must have missed a letter. You forgot your A. That's okay. I always like E's at the end of things. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boop. Bing bong ding. Ding dong long. <laughs> All right, Harris. I am with you, and I think till the end. You are here. You're at the end. Strange. Some way I missed that live comments and answering. Yes, you did, but that's okay. Um. Again, tell the kids I said hi, and I am hope I you're well. Huh? What you? I, my keyboard must not be working. I don't think your keyboard is lined up to your fingers. No, the, this... Uh, what are you trying to... S my keyboard's not working because the antenna and the battery gets wonky. Look, it missed the letters here and there. That's funny. Um, let's make sure we're still on. All right. <sighs> Can't wait to see the props that come out of that. Well, you just did in the video you just watched. Turned out pretty well. I, d I edited out the video part where you were trying to make my intro. I'll put it at the end of something oh, later. Yeah. They have not. They have not seen that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know how to use it because it's quite comical, but it's. I don't know. Okay. You still got that thing? I don't know what. I that don't know is. what that is. No, I think it went away. Do you? Mm-hmm. Things really. don't just go away. Yeah, <clears throat> I bet your dad will be impressed with that creation. Yeah, he was. At the end of the video you just watched. You saw his reaction. It was a good one. See, look, now it's typing right. I bet you I spelt hurt right of because I spelt it the way I'd normally spell it up there and it just totally ripped it apart into pieces. Hurt cattle. Yeah. Very clever. Give me the definition of the word clever. Smart. Um, clever. Um, I don't know. You know what word I can't spell? What? Original. I can't spell spaghetti. 
I can spell spaghetti. Let me try it. S P E G U I T T I Y. Spaghetti. <laughs> what? I don't know how to spell it. Spaghetti? Either. No. Just spell original. Original. O R G I N A L. Or. E. What? There's an A in there? No. Like that? No. Organelle? You ha if you're going to ask me how to spell something, you need to listen. Okay, I'm listening. What are you trying to say, say here? Indeed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just can't do it. Oh, my poor husband. <laughs> just, just answer the question. Um, O R I G N A L. See, I can spell it. If Look, it's still wrong. If you say original. It's Did still I spell wrong. It's it another I. See, or idge, idge. we both can't spell it. No, I told you an I. Did you? Everyone did she? I or don't know. Maybe I didn't. I really don't know. Or idge. Oh, and then I. I'm spelling my name. Ta da! Yes, you can do that. See? Ta da! Ta da! Yes, you are ta da. All right, Fire Pinto. Which one's Fire Pinto? I remember him. Fire Pinto. His name is Nate. Where's I won't say his last name. Where's what state? Uh oh, poop. No, that's not a state. <laughs> um, I forgot. Um, I'll think of it later. He's the one I know. Um, all right. The accord, the accordination paper. No, accordion paper. Oh yeah, the accord. That's how you spell accordion. Mm -hmm. We're learning all kinds of spelling today. <laughs> No, uh, O N O M says un. O C C O R, yeah, accord. Accordion. Dion, accordion. Die, D I, O. Dion. Yeah, but the I says the E <laughs> in this word because it's English language. The accordion paper's pretty genius, Russ. What's what's the definition of genius? Super smart. I don't know if that's the right definition. I think I missed your last video somehow. Life is getting hectic with my stupid part-time job, which I thankfully has come to an end and start my new job Monday. Pay isn't as high but uh, as my last design job, but should be much better way to life. Way to live. Yep, that's what I said. What'd you say? That's what I said. <laughs> I absolutely agree with that. Money is not, is not the objective of life. No. Enjoying life is the what objective so enjoying what you do exactly good for I you do not enjoy good for you yeah that's that's a challenge it will give me more energy to put into my own endeavors I like that you could probably make some fancy uh, railing rungs no table. this word yeah railing rungs. I wasn't done reading that word I want to make sure I got it right some fancy railing rungs or table legs with that prop maker too oh yeah I can make any shape that I can duplicate, kind of. There's some limitations there. Um, 3D print something like a corkscrew design as the original and then cut it out as some oak or something with a cool looking grain. Correct. So that was the original idea is I could 3D print the prop shape and then make one in real wood. Duplicator. Um, heck. H-E-C-K. Yep. Oh, oh, I know. I just want to see if you can spell it right. Okay. You should just tell me what to spell so I can do it for you. Well, I swear my keyboard is not like... Look how many bad spellings well, I got. Well, you have too many L's. Your R's in front Always. of your L. See, look, that's spelled wrong, too. That's because my you keyboard, had, no, my keyboard you typed broke. in B-O-R instead of B-R-O. You're typing too fast. Oh, I can type slower, but then they have to wait. It's already a video long. It's already a video long. Okay, keep going. Found your channel when I made the Star Chalice Coil 12 years ago. Sweet. I still enjoy that video. It's a pretty cool video. Um, I googled Star Chalice 
you and one other video showed up. I guess people aren't very interested in 3D printing videos. If you want the YouTube video money, you'll need to get back into free energy videos. But you do you. I still scroll through your channel every now and then. Yeah, I don't think there's any money in the free energy videos personally. I'd rather just do what I enjoy. Which I still do enjoy that, but life's been too busy with everything, so... It is what it is. See, look. I, I know how to... No, I actually don't know how to spell cheers. I always spell it wrong. It's two... No, it's two... Um, the long E sound is either E-E -E or E-A. No, I mean, if I put C-H-E-A-R-S, what's that mean? I just told you. Double E says long E. Or no, what's e it mean? It doesn't mean what's anything. It, what's that mean? It's not a word. It's not a word? No. I think it's a word. Is it a word, guys? It's not a word. It's not a word. It's just not a word. Oh, yeah. We're doing live responses on this one. People are going to crack up. What happened? No, it's all the way on. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't create my account for the first... On the first day of YouTube was not very big, at least here in Germany. That is true. I don't know when that started. I don't know how fast it got around the world, actually. It's interesting. Back when I started using it, remember, one to five star ratings. Yes, I do. And couldn't do anything more than ten minutes long. Originally, I think it was less than that. That would drove me crazy. You know how hard it was to edit a half an hour video <laughs> in ten minutes when I wanted to show everything? Mm. I just mm. published a lot of ten minute videos. Remember Adobe Flash Player? Yes, I do. And um, I still, I made some original Flash stuff. I have a website made in Flash. I'll have to see if I can find it put it in somewhere. It'd be pretty funny. It might actually be on my website if you went to the right link. I'm not sure. Um, I'm 27 now. I never lost interest in YouTube. I think I found you on a spree of perpetuum. I think that's about wrong. Mobile slash free energy style videos. I think you were doing stuff with coils, spinning magnet balls and stuff. Oh, yes, I was. I got a lot of balls and I spin them. Yeah, those big magnet ones are fun. Yep. Anyway, I found interest in I found it interesting, entertaining, and subscribed. Later, I really enjoyed your Delta Printer build re slash research. Sitting right over there, I use it all the time. Um, you probably got me into 3D printing. That's cool. Uh, one of my earlier prints was actually the large Kusin, and I went and looked at my Thingiverse, and yes, you were like one of the second or third persons to print that thing, um, which was which was cool. Um, you thought it was almost over, ha! <laughs> Funny. Uh, which I still have sitting here in my living room as I type. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I still remember the thing printing two nights, printing two nights, and one day my my crappy, oh my. and one day on my crappy uh, Anet A8 at 0 .01 millimeter height in my point one. Po I can read my 0 0.1 millimeter. Get it right. Jeez. Zero doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't because you have a decimal. Any zeros in front of the decimal or behind your numbers should be set, especially when you're coding. They, there's no value to them. <gasps> it's only when zero it's, doesn't have a value. No, it's a holder place. Exactly. So you have to say it. But it's in front of the decimal. If there was a number in front of that, then that would matter. What if it's zero 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 point one? There's numbers in front of that zero, so you have to say those zeros. No. You just skip the first one. You skip all of them. <laughs> a zero is a number. You said I have to say the numbers before the zero. So if it's zero, 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 zero is actually not a number. It's a holder place. There's no value to it. Value? Anyway, 0.1 millimeter layer height in my mom's kitchen when I had the house for myself for a few days. Isn't it weird to think, of, think that I've been following your channel for longer than your oldest daughter has been on this planet? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, do, so do you remember the baby bouncer kids in the basement at the old house in Indiana? Because I still enjoy those videos. Well, my I favorite, do. my favorite is the capacitor blowing up at my um, in my basement in Indiana. Anyway, concerning the video itself, great progress. We've seen a sneak peek, but I'm excited to see the thing fully in action. Can't be much longer until it's done. No, it's been done for months. I just haven't been able to do it in my edits. Uh, it takes around 12 days to watch. Videos he posts on YouTube around takes around twelve days to watch. Videos he posts on YouTube around eleven ninety three videos. How about you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So if he watches all of them, it takes twelve days. No, it'd probably take like more than a few years. 
to watch my 1,193 videos. I don't remember him. I do. Germany. That's crazy. Yeah, my background, so my heritage is from Germany. I actually want to go there one day. One day. I can't ever spell remember because it's R E M E R E something remember something me. something. So I just add the extra M E and then <laughs> auto correct it because I can't seem to remember. It's easy. You hear every sound. R E M E M B E R. I now sing my alphabets. Listen to me go. That's how the song goes, right? X Y Z and Z. There's actually 28 letters in the alphabet. One is an and symbol, right between Z and mm. no. Nope. Oh. I've been confused. Oh, Carl Roy. To finish it... To would, finish it would... To finish it, would, we'd uh, put a belt, belt sounder, sounder, put a belt sounder attachment on a grinder. That's a good idea. Indeed. I actually tried the belt disc originally. Um, yep. Well, one more comment. They just keep getting floating at the bottom down here. I got a thumbs up to some of these guys. Alright! Oh, Thomas. Always thumbs and prayers. Thank you, brother. Okay! Well, that's it. So, I will. I wanted to make an intro to this video and show you the, the app, but I didn't get there. So what I have to do on the app is you set the starting point, the ending point, and then you can move between them at a certain speed. If you guys want to see more in depth of the app and how I made that work, I can show you. Okay, well, that's the end of this. God bless you guys. Have a great day. There's your face hole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't have any more stuff in your teeth. Nope. What? I ate the cilantro. You ate the cilantro? Mm -hmm. You got any last final words for this one? No. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>